Hey guys, my name is Danny. Uh, today I wanted to go over, you know, my, my thinkorswim setup. I know a lot of you guys have been asking me, you know, how you set up your thinkorswim. What are some things you use on thinkorswim and, you know, all that such. So I tried to set up my thinkorswim um, to make it so, you know, I can see the chart. I can see when I have to enter and exit the trade and to easily be able to enter and exit a trade as quickly as possible. So what I mean is execute the trade, right? I want to be able to buy and sell as quickly as possible to, you know, secure my profits and to get out safely or try to get out as safely as possible, right? So, you know, let's, uh, let's bring up an example of something that I might trade, okay? So something that I might trade is the SPY. SPY tracks the S&P 500, it's an ETF, you know? So, uh, actually, first let's go over, you know, these four charts, you know, how did I set up these four charts and where do I set them up? So, if you look up top here, you get a whole bunch of tabs. I go to the charts tab and I make sure it's set on charts so that whatever stock that I put in, you know, it'll show up in the trade tab automatically. Right. So as you see, there's nothing in trade. If I type in spy right here, it, it'll show up in trade. You know, it'll show up in trade and you don't have to go digging for it. It'll automatically pop up. Um, so let's say I'm trading spy. You know, I would have one chart over here of spy set up, um, you know, just a chart with my SMA, RSI and my support and resistance lines. Um, on the right side of it, you know, it doesn't matter which side you put it on, but my preference, you know, I like to have another spy chart, but except, however, however, the time and sales of it, you know, I don't, I don't really need a bunch of charts of spy open. Uh, I do have another computer that I do trade on, but you know, a trader doesn't really need a bunch of fucking charts open. You know, it, it's just, I think that's nonsense kind of, unless you're looking at other commodities such as oil and currencies, you know, maybe that's, that might be useful, but, for a regular trader, if you're an everyday trader, you know, you can just use these charts right here. I like to have a chart of the SPY's time and sales. Of the stock that I'm about to trade, I like to have the time and sales. And the time and sales is, is this right here. Now, how you, how you open up the time and sales first is you type in the stock that, you're, that you were interested in trading. Uh, the chart should probably pop up like that. Just go over here, click chart, and then it should be blank, and then click TS which stands for time and sales. Time and sales is going to show you the buying and selling pressure or kind of the, uh, what people are buying and selling this asset in, right? And how many of it. So if you see, there's a lot of orders, there's a lot of buy orders in the green of a hundred. Uh, those are probably like bots at the New York stock exchange, you know, the big guys and whatever. I like to see how aggressively I like to use this to see how aggressively people are buying and selling that stock. You know, it's, it's nice to have, you know, if people are selling at the bid and buying at the bid, you know, that's pretty bearish. If people are buying and selling at the ask, it's pretty bullish. And I just wait to see, you know, if an aggress if it can aggressively bounce off something or break through and continue. Right now on these two charts at the bottom, um, I'm going to actually, Take this off real quick because it's kind of lagging. But at these two charts at the bottom, this is where I like to have my buy button and sell button ready for that stock, right? So I, I um, if you're trading options, you know, um, if you're trading shares, you don't really need these two boxes. But this is for basically my group chat, you know, options traders and whatnot. Uh, if you go to um now trade, right? If you're day trading, you probably are going to like to stay at same day expiries or, you know, as close to same day expiries as you can, because it gives you more profit and, you know, it, it, those are good for scalps. So if we open up the options chain for March 9th, you know, you can see a bunch of options, uh, find the play that you're kind of interested in, right? So I like to do at the money or, uh, in the money, you guys can do out the money, Depend, you know, depending on how far you go is, you know, you might be profitable, but I did go over that in my other video of how to pick an option. So if you right click the option that you are interested in and go to copy, you know, click copy, right? 
wait for that to uh, disappear. Now let's go back to charts and you can paste it into this chart, right? Click enter. Uh, it, it would probably, for you guys at first, show up as a chart like this, right? Now to show up the active trader where you could buy and sell instantly pretty much, you remove that chart just like you did with the time of sales and go to AT for active trader. It's gonna pull this up. It's gonna show you all the uh, buy orders, the volume, you know, buy market, everything, you know? You enter how many you wanna buy. Uh, I think it automatically sets to 10. You enter how many you wanna buy, you have auto send and you could buy it and sell it, you know, just from a single click. Like you don't have to, you don't have to go all the way to trade, uh, pick the option, click confirm and send and all that. You know, you literally see the price, you see the chart right there. You say, okay, broke past resistance. I think it's gonna continue higher. You buy the call or you, or, you know, whatever option you chose and you get your profit and you sell. You know, it, it's like, it happens. It can ha you can do this so quickly. And Robinhood does not offer this. Obviously, Robinhood is like a low level platform. So if you think you can do this on Robinhood, uh, I highly doubt it. And that's why I recommend uh, switching to, um, you know, Thinkorswim. Now on this side of this chart, you could, you know, you could really add whatever else, you know, you could add maybe the opposite of your call, which is the put, you know, just in case, cause anything can happen in the markets, you know, something could uh, bounce off resistance and you, you could say, you know what, I want a put instead. So now you have easy access to the put, you know, you could put the put here. If we go to trade, you know, pick a, pick an option, pick a put option. And uh, we paste it into here, you know. Now we have a puts and puts on this side, calls on this side. Whatever you think is going to happen, you know, de depending on the chart, like over here, you know, if you knew, if you knew this was going to go take a leg lower, spy, you could have bought the puts, bam, 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 made some profits when you think it's going to start reversing, sell it. And, and you could do these all like, like this, you know, it, happen it can happen. You could do this quickly and, and get out quickly you know uh, robin hood does not offer this robin hood actually probably will cost you a lot in terms of profit and probably you, you know you're probably going to lose a lose on a trade turn a winning trade into a losing trade just because of robin hood's poor execution times i mean i even know today robin hood robin hood just completely like flopped today this is probably this is the second time in two weeks it's flopped because of all the volume in the markets um thinkorswim on the other hand you know even though thinkorswim is a little laggy you know, it's much, much better to use than Robinhood. Um, but this is my setup, guys. You know, this is how I enter and quickly exit a trade. When I say scalp, you know, this is what I'm doing. This is what I'm using when I'm scalping. And, you know, I think this helps with greed too, because you have literally the buy and sell button on the tip of your fingers. You know, you just click it and it sells. That's pretty much it, guys. Um, if you guys have any questions on my setup, if you guys have any questions on my setup, feel free to ask me in the comments. Um, otherwise, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.